We're joined, of course, by ABC chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton, as always. And we are tracking all of the major developments of the day. So let's go to the latest coronavirus numbers from Johns Hopkins University. More than 43.5 million global cases confirmed with more diagnosed cases and deaths here in the U.S. than anywhere else in the world. At least 8.7 million and now more than 225,000 American lives lost. All right, Doc, we're still talking about a vaccine, still waiting. Uh, but a modifiable risk factor mm -hmm. of COVID. We're talking about vitamin D. What is this about? Vitamin D and low levels. And here's the latest study published. Came out of Spain. It was a small study, but they looked at COVID-19 patients admitted to a hospital. They found that over 80% of them had deficient or low levels of vitamin D3. They also had higher markers of inflammation. In particular, we look at something called ferritin and D-dimer. Now, there are two possible mechanisms to explain this when we talk about causation. Vitamin D3 does have anti-infection properties, and it also can prevent this inflammatory or overactive immune response. You can get it in food. We hear this all the time, fatty fish, uh, milk, fortified cereals, and egg yolks. If taken in supplement form, According to Harvard Medical School, about a thousand units a day, likely safe for the majority of people. You get to, into some toxic risks like kidney stones when you go above 4,000 units a day, so more is not better. All right, Dr. Jim, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.